Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday, then today is what? Yesterday was Tuesday, then today is Wednesday. Is Wednesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, then tomorrow will be what? Yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, then tomorrow will be Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday. So today is Wednesday. The month is January. What number? The numbers one and two are next to each other in this order. That makes number 12 or 12th. So today is Wednesday, January 12th, and the year is 2022. What season are we in? It's still winter. Yep, it's winter. So then what does the weather look like outside today? You can look out your windows. Ms. Jessica's going to look outside her windows. How are you? I'm going to stand up to look outside your windows, but Ms. Jessica can just kind of look both ways. I look outside my windows here at school. I see that it's a sunny day today. There might be a couple clouds, but it's a pretty sunny day. <laughs> over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, you need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. You need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you, even if you're upset, even if you're angry. Take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. Some of you. Some of you, it's been a, a week or two. But um, there's still people in your life, though, that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members. They ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. You need to make good choices. That means being appropriate with our language and our tone of voice. Even for upset, even for angry. Take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and appropriate tone of voice. Because people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And lastly, always do your best. Yes. Always do your best. And we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. And that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best. And that's okay too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. <laughs> all right, let's go over our communication rights because we're adults and we have rights. And some of those rights, these 15 in particular, deal with our communication, how we communicate with others and how others communicate with us. There are 15 communication rights. So on a five day week like this one, because we do it every other week, we do three per day. So on Monday, we did three. Tuesday, we did three. Now we're going to do three more. I have the right to know about the people in my life and everything happening to me. You're a person and you have a right to know who's going to be in your life. So that could be different support staff. Um, but you also have the right to know everything that's happening to you because it's about you. It's your life and you have the right to know. I have the right to be talked with in a way I understand. You're a person and you have a right for the people in your life to talk with you in a way you understand. So that might be how it's presented, um, maybe with visuals or with the support of a device, and also what is said to you. You have a right to be talked with in a way that works for you. I have the right to ask for, get, and give information. You're a person and you have a right to ask for and get the information you're seeking. Um, challenges is that sometimes the people we ask don't have the information we're looking for. So we might have to wait, ask somebody else. 
Um, and also you have the right to give information because the information you have is important, but you want to be careful who you give, especially sensitive information to. So like, you know, personal information, you have to be very careful who you give that to. You don't want to give that to strangers. All right. Let's see how we're feeling. Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. There's a way you're feeling salt listed. You can tell somebody that as well. And you can always be more than one thing. Awesome job. Let's just go today. I'm a little tired today. It's true. It's been a pretty busy week. Just trying to keep everything straight. Um, I'm a little sad today. It's true. As I have been every day for almost 22 months. Um, right now, nobody is at school with Ms. Jessica. Uh, nobody's in our classroom. So um, I'm sad because I miss all of you and I want you back here with me. Um, but even though I'm tired, I'm sad because I miss you. I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of. And the fact that hopefully someday soon we'll all be back together in class. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna work so hard. All this time apart will just be a memory. When I think about all that. That makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. With that though, meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video. I believe we're going to at least start chapter 18 today, if not read the whole thing. And we are going to do our 10 o'clock Zoom where we're going to be doing some scavenger hunts. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Wednesday. And I'll see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.